Howdy, this is John from Aviate.io and today I'm going to show you how to insert some brass knurled inserts into 3D printed components just like this one uh, using only a heat gun because I find the soldering iron method inaccurate. Tools required, uh, heat gun here, uh, small needle nose pliers, uh, some hex keys, uh, I've already got out the hex key specifically I need. You're going to need your brass knurled inserts all ready to go. And lastly, the uh, acceptable uh, M size bolt. Right here I have an M3 by 20 bolt. This seems to be good enough. You're going to want to take your knurled insert, thread it onto the M3 bolt, and a couple millimeters of overlap. I found that when you insert the uh, warmed up brass knurled inserts into the plastic. Sometimes the plastic melts down a little bit and can gum up things underneath. So a couple millimeters extra on the bolt will help uh, keep that clear. So I'm gonna turn on the heat gun now. I realize that you can hear that in the audio. I apologize. I'm actually recording this on my patio because I have nowhere inside I can do this. Uh, I don't want plastic fumes. Uh, out and about. Just for the record, these uh, plastic parts here are from a Hypercube Evolution that I'm building and they are printed in PETG. So if you're doing these inserts on uh, something with a lower temperature like PLA, it should be much easier. First thing I'm going to do is just really quickly get rid of all the stringiness that might be on this. I've mostly already done this part so the uh, heat gun on low power will take care of all that stringiness right quick. So I've got my uh, knurled insert on an M3 bolt and the most exciting portion of this process is just holding it over the heat gun for 30 seconds to a minute depends on how you feel. I'm gonna take put the one that's already completed on my way keep the one that I need to work on right here now, please remember, safety first, uh, you're working with a heat gun that puts out somewhere in the range of a thousand degrees. I have mine sitting on a board, even though it's not strictly necessary. Um, but everything that comes near this tip is going to be quite hot. So do not touch this bolt, the knurled insert, or the needle nose pliers until you're really sure that they've cooled down. So once this is all gotten nice and warmed up, which should be here in just a second. I'm gonna push it straight down into the uh, uh, receptacles already designed for this particular part. And I have no particular method for determining length of time, just when I feel that it's been good and hot enough. And then you need to execute quickly. So take it off the heat and push it down into the plastic and push down a little bit farther. And I found that when I do this, the uh, brass tends to float a little bit if I let it go too early. The plastic kind of pushes it back up. So I hold it there for a little bit. And now I'm gonna eyeball to make sure that this is upright. That's the entire point of the brass bolt rather than soldering iron, is that it helps me get an idea of whether this is perfectly straight up and down. And that looks pretty good. So just to show you that this is a pretty quick process. It's a little bit slower than soldering. So with the soldering iron, it applies that heat into the brass insert very quickly. Uh, this takes a little bit longer, but I feel that it's more exact, which makes it worthwhile to me. So I'm gonna heat this one up. And the other reason for uh, doing more than one of these at a time is as that cools down a little bit, once it cools down and I feel like it's gotten a solid grasp in that uh, PETG, I'm gonna take my uh, hex key and I'm actually going to screw in the bolt a little bit farther to make sure it's clear of all the plastic on the underside. So this should be warm enough and let's do this one as well. Ooh, this one's actually smoking a bit. And there we go. And I'm just gonna hold it right where I want it and eyeballing to make sure that it's exactly where I want it. A little bit of taps in the right direction and that looks pretty good. 
hopefully that comes out right. So, remember this one's very hot, just out of the uh, hot heat gun. This one should be cooling down though, so I'm actually going to take it and, like I said, screw it in a little bit more. And I'm going to be very careful not to touch the hot bolt that just came off. Screw it in a little bit more. It's clear, it's going in, no problem. So now I can just back out that bolt. And I'm pretty sure it's cool by now, so it's a little bit dangerous, maybe gloves, but what the hey, live on the wild side. And now, oh, see, this one was not cold enough, so I started to wiggle it around. So I'm gonna leave that there to cool continue to cool and maybe push it back a little bit because I messed up that placement by getting too aggressive. You know, I want to keep this video short for you uh, and doing so I made it a little too aggressive. But you can see what we've got for inserts here and this one is just a little bit below the level of the plastic. Uh, with these I'm still working on getting my um, placement down. We can see one of them just a hair above and just a hair below. I think that's probably good for this process. Um, yeah, that screw's still quite warm, and that's a you know fairly bad idea. Also, when these two parts are hot, you know metal expands, so it's going to be harder to screw it in and unscrew it. So, give yourself a couple seconds. If I were doing this without the video, I have a couple more of these prepped. I would just plop them in and let them all cool down. Hopefully that was helpful. Enjoy using the heat gun rather than the soldering iron.